Jesus has just announced that one of the disciples there with him will betray him. One by one, they have all denied that it could possibly be them. But in the face of a million denials, the word of Jesus remains true and will always be fulfilled. So Jesus repeats what he has told them. It is one of the twelve, he replied. One who dips bread into the bowl with me. The Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Jesus is assuring his disciples that what he has just said is true, that one of them will betray him. It will be one of those with whom he is sharing this meal. Jesus reminds them of a prophecy from the scriptures to make his point to the disciples. Jesus always saw his life as part of a bigger picture in the context of God's great plan for the world. And it's this reality that comforts him as he announces this distressing news to his disciples. Sadly, now as then, it is true that Christ's greatest enemies are often within. Too often, the church is trying to find the enemy out there in the world. But tragically, Christ's greatest enemies are often hidden under cloaks of apparent piety and righteousness. What Jesus says about Judas is very striking. It would be better for him if he had not been born. You have to take Jesus' words seriously. Imagine a situation where a life is completely wasted, not just now, but for eternity. It's a devastating thought. Will your life have eternal value? Think about it carefully. Pray about it.